I'll take a deep breath and just sit in connection with the nature in this moment, in this space, and feel yourself grounding and becoming rooted into the energy of the elements and of the vibrations of sound and sound healing. Take a few deep opening breaths to lengthen the spine and find a long, tall and open seat, adjusting so that the flesh of the seat is pulled out from underneath the body. The spine is lengthening, the hips are opening and energies and tensions that are stuck begin to release begin to open for this morning's practice, for this meditation and sound healing, and for this morning's practice of yoga in connection with the energy of the nature and of the elements, of the trees and the sunlight, the birds. Finding a connection to your breath, beginning the flow inward flow of prana, of life force, chi, entering the body, and the outward flow of apana, the exhale, releasing toxins, waste, anything no longer serving, taking a deep inhale, and a releasing, decompressing, ha, breath, two more. And as you breathe, as you open your breath, your spine, your chest, your body, and you begin to let the breath move you. Envision yourself growing roots just like the trees and grounding your body down into Mother Earth, into the depth of the heart, the core of Mother Earth, the wellspring of infinite love and compassion. And allow yourself to open up to receiving the vibrations of the sounds of the music and of the nature as you breathe deeply and slowly and evenly, perhaps cultivating the ujjayi pranayama, the ocean breathing with a slight constriction in the back of the throat. Similar to the sound of cleaning glasses with your breath or a window, but with the mouth closed on the inhale and exhale. And as you find this breath, let it begin to cultivate prana, an ocean of energy to support you in your practice. to consider your heart. 
heart center. And breathe into your chest. All the light of the sun, of the earth, of the nature, the animals, the elements, and of your highest and brightest self. Start to open your mind to the letting go of the clutter in the thoughts. of the distractions of the world and let yourself become present. I am present.
all around in a circular motion over the hip bones and start to open the spine and mobilize the kundalini energy to move up the spine the spinal column shushumna or central energy channel bringing the white light the infinite creative life force potential of the kundalini of the shakti essence of the divine power of creation in nature moving through your body at this moment let yourself fall let yourself fall on down let yourself fall away through the spiral of the light let yourself fall let yourself fall on down let yourself fall away through the infinite spiral of all time let yourself go surrender to the light surrender to the light of the infinite spiral of all time let yourself go let yourself flow on down through the infinite spiral of all time om nam shiva om let yourself go surrender to the divine in the infinite spiral the infinite spiral of the light let yourself fall let yourself fall on down let yourself fall away the infinite spiral of the light let yourself go let yourself go away let yourself dissolve away through the infinite spiral of all time let yourself fall let yourself fall away let yourself fall down to the infinite spiral of all time listening to the birds and listening to your breath in connection with the birds in connection with the elements and finding that space of connection of flow within your own breath let yourself sink into your breath and into your body and really feel your awareness your consciousness running through your whole system running through your fingertips through your toes through your roots in connection to the earth And let your breath be that awareness moving through, constantly washing through your body, watching, feeling, accepting, trusting, and allowing yourself to open up the spaces of your being that maybe you haven't uncovered or visited or given love or attention towards yet. Take your practice today, your breath today, your yoga union with yourself today 
to find that space. To find that space where you haven't quite opened your being. To find that space where there's another layer of your truest and most authentic, brightest self. Take a deep inhale. Another big ha. Ah. Inhale the arms above head. Bring the palms together and pull them down to the center of your heart. Finding another deep inhale. Tuning into the Kundalini energy. Tuning into the divine teacher within you, the wisdom within you. And we'll work with the Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo mantra, the Adi mantra, to open the space in connection to the Kundalini, to bow to the primal wisdom within us, the primal teacher within us, and to connect to the golden chain of the Kundalini teachings. We'll sing this together three times this morning, or just listen and receive the mantra, tuning us all in at the same time to the truth of the Kundalini teachings. Take a deep inhale. Releasing breath. Inhale to sing the mantra Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. down, face down once again on the knees, inhale the heart open, exhale sending the spine behind, opening the back of the heart, focusing on opening this space of the chest and the space between the shoulder blades, alternating with your inhale and exhale, moving through back and forth through this seated cat-cow motion, finding your breath with which to synchronize your movements and just breathing through your entire spine, breathing the energy of the Kundalini up and down the spine, up and down the Shushumna, and opening up any spaces of tension in the shoulders or in the neck, releasing any tension which may be holding back your posture, holding back your process, holding back your emotion, and allowing that space to open. I'm taking just a few more inhales and exhales, moving through the spine and envisioning that golden energy of the kundalini rising up the center of the spine. And when you feel ready, inhaling the arms above head. Exhale, pressing the palms together and spreading the fingers wide, pushing the hands out and away from each other, out to the sides of the body, protecting the body, the aura, opening a bubble of light around the body and grounding that energy down, bringing the fingertips to the earth, to the ground, or to your mat. Take a deep inhale here as if you're drinking the energy of the earth up through your fingers. And a big releasing breath, decompressing and sending love down into the earth. Start to walk your right hand behind the body slightly, bringing the left hand to the outside of the right knee. Inhale, finding length in the spine, rolling the shoulders back and down on the body, opening the chest, and following the right shoulder with your gaze, 
looking across the right shoulder as much as you can and breathing into the length of the spine and twisting only as far as you feel comfortable at this moment. Taking a deep inhale here. Tucking the belly button in and as you exhale, releasing, keeping the length in the spine, keeping the strength in the core. Inhale, opening the chest, opening the heart, gazing up towards the sky. Exhale, curving the spine in, tucking the body in. Inhale, straightening out, lengthening. Roll the shoulders a little bit, release any tension in the shoulders. Inhale, once again, finding that length in the body. Left fingertips to the left side of the body, walking the fingertips over, bringing the right hand to the outside of the left knee. Roll the shoulders back and down, open the chest, finding that length in the spine. And breathing into your twist. Each inhale helps you to lengthen the body more, bringing more light, more energy, more fluid up and down the spinal column. And each exhale helps to twist a little deeper, detoxifying the organ, massaging out the digestive system, helping to get all the prana, all the energy flowing within the body. Finding a deep inhale, lengthening, tucking the belly button into the spine, supporting the lower back, and slowly twisting out. Plant your hands face down on the knees, take a deep inhale. Exhale, begin to walk the hands forward, coming into a forward fold in your Sukhasana, opening up the hips, and coming down as far as you feel ready to this morning. Intentionally breathing into the hips, imagining, envisioning your breath as light, as healing energy going right into the psoas, into the hip flexors. Inviting this energy to help you open up this morning, to help you relax the body. And to also release stuck emotion. Coming into your plank pose, inhale deeply here, exhale chaturanga down, inhale your back bend, exhale up and back downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet, finding a deep inhale, bringing your big toes together, lower your knees wide to the edges of your mat. Sinking the chest down into the earth, coming into a wide-legged child's pose. Sinking the chest down, sinking the heart down, opening the hips. And again, finding that affirmation. I love myself, I accept myself, I am love. This is also a good time to focus on being grounded and stable. I am grounded, I am stable. I am connected to the earth.
Find a deep inhale. Exhale, slowly sliding forward onto your belly, elbows beneath the shoulders, toes pointing behind, pelvic bone in contact with the earth. The fingers can be spread. Forearms are parallel to each other. If this feels too intense for the lower back or any part of the spine, one can bring the elbows further forward to lessen the curvature of the spine. Finding your sphinx posture and breathing in this space of open heartedness. Breathing in this space of both strength and ease, of stira and sukha, and breathing in and out of that heart center of love and acceptance, allowing that rose in the back of the heart to stay open to receiving love for the self and to sharing that love with the world. Find a deep inhale and a big sigh or a lion's breath, sticking the tongue out, eyes open wide. Finding a deep inhale. Stretching the arms all the way forward, lengthening the body, pulling the body apart, creating openness in the vertebrae, planting the fingertips down and pressing the tops of the feet into the earth, bringing the forehead to the mat if possible, and really pulling yourself apart to create even more length in the body. Taking a deep inhale, exhale as you retract your hands back beneath the shoulders, elbows tuck close to the ribs, tuck the toes, push the body up and back, downward facing dog. Step the feet wide to the edges of the mat, find a deep inhale, exhale walk your hands back to meet your feet. Fold over the legs, bending the knees, breathing deeply. Sinking in. Feeling your connection of your feet to the ground. Bring the fingertips down in front of you, inhale, halfway lift, lengthening the spine, opening the chest. Point the toes out slightly apart from each other and the knees aiming the same direction as the toes coming down into a squat or malasana, bringing the elbows in to meet the knees. Finding length in the spine, finding strength in the core, breathing deeply here. Inhaling into the length in the spine, inhaling into the chest. Exhale, planting the hands down in front, straightening out the legs, once again folding over the legs. Inhale into a halfway lift. Exhale, fold, tuck the belly button into the spine, inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Palms come together, step the feet together, bring the palms in prayer at the heart. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. 
finding your mountain pose, standing strong, evenly, feet parallel, toes spread, belly button tucked in, tailbone tucked under, shoulders away from the ears, and close your eyes and use your mind's eye to see yourself growing roots just like a tree, just as we began in our meditation and becoming one with the forest around, with the nature around. And breathe deeply with that energy of the nature. Breathe deeply with the energy of your own roots, of your root chakra, the muladhara. And feel the energy of the earth nourish your body. Really as if you are drinking the energy of the earth up through your feet, up through your legs, through your skin, your every pore, this prana, this energy of the earth coming in, coming through, washing through. Inhaling here, exhale, bringing the fingers clasped behind the body, pull the shoulders away from the ears, opening the chest, look up towards the sky, keeping that length in the neck. Inhaling, tucking the belly button in, bending the knees slightly, spread toes, fold forward over the knees. Breathing deeply, inhale. Exhale, really sinking into the fold. Taking a deep inhale, exhale, slowly lowering the hands down to the sacrum and down the backs of the legs, folding into your Uttanasana, your standing forward fold, inhale into a halfway lift, exhale, bring the feet together, knees together, thighs together, and come down into a toe squat, to bring, making a little shelf out of the thighs thighs parallel to each other, palms come in prayer at the heart, straight spine, finding your balance here. And feeling into your balance, feeling into your center of gravity, knowing that if you fall it's okay, tucking the belly button in, keeping the core strong, and if you feel to play with this posture you can Bring the fingertips down to support yourself and stick one leg out forward, hugging the thighs in, flexing that foot, and then maybe finding your balance again. And feeling free to keep breathing, reminding yourself to keep breathing, and switch sides when you feel ready. Always listening to your body. Releasing again into your toe squat, but this time bringing the knees down, sitting on the heels, stretching the arches of the feet. <clears throat> Breathing into the length of the spine, maybe rolling the shoulders a little bit. And setting the body up so that the spine is right in line with the heels, in line with the toes. And most of the weight is right on top of the heels, stretching the arches and stretching open the toes. Find another deep inhale, exhaling, releasing, planting the hands in front, tap the feet to bring the blood flow back into the toes, and sit down onto the heels. Just breathing here. Find another deep inhale, 
and on your exhale, once again, interlacing the fingers behind the body, pull the shoulders back, inhaling, opening the chest, exhale, tucking the belly button into the spine and folding forward, bringing the forehead to the knees or the top of the head to the mat and allowing the hips to lift slightly, coming on to the top of the head, lifting open the chest, lifting open the arms, coming into a modified rabbit pose. Very nice. Opening the heart, the back of the heart, the shoulder blades, the chest, and opening the spine, restoring the spinal curve. Coming out whenever you feel ready into a standard child's pose with knees together, feet together, and arms at your sides. Always remembering your breathing. Finding your child's pose, your seat to your heels, your toes, feet together, knees, thighs together, shoulders almost resting on the knees if you can, and forehead or one side of the face to the earth. Coming into this restorative posture which connects to the inner child and which also reminds the body of being in the womb as the body is entering the same curvature, the natural curvature of the spine, the original curvature of the spine. Bringing your mind's attention and mind's eye again to that space of the back of the heart, the space between the shoulder blades and Reminding yourself, I love myself, I accept myself, I am love. I love myself, I accept myself, I am love. And rolling that through your mind with your breath, in time with your breath. I love myself, I accept myself, I am love. Letting that vibration of self-love and acceptance move through every cell, leading to forgiveness, leading to healing, leading to release, leading to connection with your deeper feelings, knowings, intuition. Finding another deep inhale, exhale slowly stretching your body forward and coming onto your hands and knees once again into your tabletop position, planting the hands beneath the shoulders, fingers spread evenly, knees beneath the hips, toes tucked behind, spine in one line. Inhale your right arm out to your side, exhale bring that arm underneath the left Twisting lightly, bringing the right shoulder onto the earth. And just breathing into this space, feeling into your body to make sure you feel comfortable here. And only going as far as you can if you feel like you would like to inhale the left arm up to open the chest even more, you're welcome to. And in this posture, the thread the needle to open the spine, you have an opportunity also to detoxify the body, to breathe the prana into the organs, into the digestive system. Find a deep inhale, a big sigh, inhaling here. 
Exhaling, really pressing into that left hand, pushing the body up with that left hand, planting the right again underneath the right shoulder. Inhale, opening the heart. Exhale, sending the spine up. Inhale, bringing the left hand out and under the right, finding your twist on the opposite side. And again, if you feel to open the chest even more by bringing that right arm up to any level, even up in the air, on the side of the body, or back behind the body, binding to take hold of the thigh, whichever feels comfortable, or keeping it planted if you feel unstable, and making sure not to over crunch or push too much energy into the neck. If you really feel weight in the neck, you can always push a little more into the hand on the ground or push a little more into the back of the extended arm. And in cases where it really feels like the neck is uneven or the neck can't reach the ground, you can have a block. Find a deep inhale, big sigh, inhale, Exhale, planting strong into the right hand, pushing into the earth and allowing that energy to push you back up into your tabletop position. Inhale, opening the heart. Exhale, sending the spine up. Two more. Inhale, opening the heart. Exhale, sending the spine up. Inhale, coming into your tabletop and sitting down onto the heels, taking a moment with a straight spine, rolling the shoulders up and down. And when you feel ready, stretching the legs out in front, flexing the feet, finding Dandasana or staff pose, and breathing into your staff pose, lengthening the spine, flexing the feet, pressing the thighs into the earth rolling the shoulders away from the ears, feeling that strength in the core, and just breathing. Very slowly start to walk your hands forward, only going as far as your body will allow you to in this stretch. Maybe walking the hands a little bit at a time to go deeper into a fold here. And then very slowly relaxing the feet, relaxing the spine, folding over the legs into a caterpillar pose or the yin version of a seated forward fold. Letting everything relax, no need to pull on any parts of the body, just totally surrendering to gravity helping this fold. just listening to yourself going as far as you can and we'll be here breathing deeply slowly imagining that circuit of that loving acceptance flowing through the body As you breathe and focus on that mantra, I love myself, I accept myself, I am love, 
affirming to every cell that you are loved, you are healed, you are healthy. Affirming to every cell that you are infusing your body with self-acceptance, self-love, self-healing, self-care. You can also visualize Envision, imagine a circuit of energy of that green and pink light of the earth entering into the heels and up the backs of the legs, up the spine and out the top of the head, back into the ground and all the way again through the body like a circuit, constantly moving that green and pink infinite love. Finding a deep inhale, very slowly starting to walk the hands back, just a little bit at a time, really uncurling and really stacking just one vertebrae at a time on top of the neck. And when you come up again into a seat, inhaling the shoulders up, back and down, maybe a couple more. Bring the knees into the chest. Take hold of either elbow and just stretch the spine open, the chest open. The feet are parallel and together. And just breathe here. Just really feeling into the breath. Maybe there's new space in the back body to receive more energy, more oxygen, more prana. And bringing the soles of the feet together, opening the knees wide to the edges of your mat. Lengthening the spine, opening the chest, taking hold of the ankles, finding Baddha Konasana or butterfly pose. And just move the knees a little bit, flapping your butterfly wings, moving the knees up and down, <laughs> releasing any tensions in the hips. And engaging the core, lengthening the spine, Closing the eyes and looking up and out the third eye. Imagining, seeing the kundalini energy, the gold light moving up and down the shashuna, the central channel of the spine, supported by the breath moving in and out of ida and pingala, the nadis of the nostrils. crossing down and around the spine, bringing the divine feminine and the divine masculine into balance in the body, and letting this action, this vibration of the legs be the catalyst to send this kundalini energy, the infinite creative life force potential up and out the third eye and start to feel into your heart and consider in your life where your journey is going what you want to see created in your life. If you could fly through your own existence, through your own future, flying above your own life as the butterfly, what would you want to see? 
what will you see? And if it doesn't feel like it's worth it for you to focus on your life, on what you'll see in your own life, what do you want to see in the world? What will you see in the world? Find a deep inhale, opening the heart. Exhale, folding over the legs, sinking into the ground and grounding those intentions in. Finding a deep inhale. As you breathe out, maybe softening, deepening, and sinking a little deeper in. to your wide-legged seated forward fold. You can start with the feet flexed so you can see where your edge is and then relax the feet and just fold however far you can today. And just breathe into the inner thighs, into the backs of the legs and into the back of the heart still focusing on that loving acceptance of where you are within your being, within your life, <laughs> within yourself. remembering that circulation of breath of prana of healing energy rejuvenating regenerating uncovering releasing bringing you into your full potential in your body in your mind in your spirit by taking this moment of yoga of union Finding a deep inhale, big sigh, maybe you sink in a little further, another deep inhale, maybe you soften a little bit more, 
And take five more deep, slow breaths here. Taking your time to very slowly come out of your posture and to even guide the legs slowly inward towards each other. Maybe just a little inch or so at a time till you bring the feet all the way back together. And we can stretch the legs out, point the toes. Plant the hands behind, lift the pelvis, lift the chest, coming into a reverse plank. And just breathing for three breaths in your reverse plank, finding that length, finding that strength in the core, opening the chest, resetting the spine from our folding. And once you've completed your three breaths, slowly sinking down. Lowering down onto the back, bringing the knees into your chest, squeezing the knees into the chest, and just rocking a little bit back and forth, or side to side, and massaging out the spine a little bit. bringing the knees towards the armpits, the hands to the outsides of the feet, stretching open the legs, the soles of the feet to the sky, the hips opening into a happy baby. And feel free to continue rocking side to side or back and forth, really get into that happy baby feeling. And remember to send your breath into the hip flexors and to take yet another opportunity to fill the self with love, with self-care, with joy. Maybe even envisioning joyous moments of your life. Feeling those moments of joy in your life. Imagining and feeling that carefree energy of a happy baby, a happy child just playing Taking a deep inhale. As you exhale, straighten the legs up into the air. Bring the hands down to your sides. Flex your feet, finding the legs in the air. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, planting into the hands. Pressing strong into the hands. Lift the hips up off of the ground. Bringing the knees in towards the chest and bringing the hands to the spine. If you are pregnant, you should avoid this posture. Take a deep inhale, slowly bringing the toes behind the body, coming into a plow pose. Breathing deeply. Inhaling here, big sigh, deep inhale. Exhale, very slowly uncurl the body. Coming out of your plow when you feel ready, letting each vertebra lower down onto the ground, and landing the feet, soles of the feet planting. And just rock the knees a little bit side to side. And just tuning in and asking your body 
if there is anything else you might need to do before you come into your Shavasana. Otherwise, allow yourself to find your relaxation. If you need to do a twist or anything to move the body a little more before finding that relaxation space, feel free to take this time. Otherwise, start to allow your being to settle into those roots that you grew at the beginning of your practice in connection with the earth. 